Okay, welcome back to the Infinifactory series. We're now on to the training routine number two. Uh, I've already done this a couple times, so I'll just briefly go into it and I'll show you around and do a quick solution. So this puzzle is showing you how to use the welding tool. You can either use it one on top of each other, side by side, across a path from each other, or you can actually create it where it's uh, one sitting and pointing down. Because it gives you two actual different welders here. So let me show you this real quick. See those welders point down. Um, note you can't rotate them to turn them up or anything like that. They just kind of rotate in place. So those are useful for when you're having something pass under like on a conveyor belt. The other one is the side welder. And these you can rotate in various directions, so they are quite a bit useful for uh, doing things from the side where they'll come through. You can see you can have it integrate in multiple factions, so you could have something come in here like an L shape, or just pass through straight through as two blocks. can also extend it a little bit. So you can see there's two blocks now between the instead of one. As you can see though, once you hit three blocks, it doesn't work. So for this puzzle, we've got two different types of blocks coming in. And we're going to want to weld them and then send them down here to this output hopper. Let's build that solution real quick. It's pretty simple. We're just going to have them come in a similar pattern. Around. And put them equidistant so that they'll run into each other here. And while we're at it, let's just... Uh, Put a spacer block there. Okay, that should be all there is to it. As you can see, they meet, get welded, and come straight down this line. You don't need uh, conveyors under every part of a piece. As long as one point touches a conveyor, it will keep moving on and won't fall off. 